word problems with two variables involving numbers. So the question here is, the sum of two numbers is four less than twice the larger. If three times the smaller number is subtracted from the larger number, the result is minus 20. Find the numbers. So first step is to define the variables. Since the question is the sum of two numbers, that means there are two variables. So we say let the numbers be x and y. So first step is always to define the numbers. And then we'll write down the equations. Read the statement properly and then translate them into equation. The sum of two numbers is four less than twice the larger. So sum of two numbers means x plus y. Is means equal to four less than twice the larger. So let us assume that x is larger than y. So it says sum of two numbers, that is x plus y, is four less than, that means four less than minus four, twice the larger. So we are saying x is larger, two times x. Right? This is the first statement. So once you write in statement, read, does it fit? It says the sum of two numbers is four less than twice the larger. That's fine. So we are assuming that x is greater than y. Okay. If three times the smaller number is subtracted from larger number, the result is minus 20. So if three times the smaller number, this is smaller number, right? Y is subtracted from the larger number. That means x minus 3y is minus 20. So that is how we have to start a word problem. Define your variables. Once you define your variables, then try to write the equation involving those variables. So now these are two variable problems. So we have two variables. To solve an equation with two variables, you should have at least two equations to find unique solutions, right? We'll discuss that part also to find unique solution. So we have a statement, rather two equations, so we can always solve for these two variables. Now, what we can do here is, we can adopt the method. Which method to choose to solve this problem? So the method could be substitution or elimination. So these are standard methods which we'll be using. So now, before moving forward, let me simplify both the statements, right? Since the first one, is x plus y equals to 2x minus 4 has variable on both sides of the equation it's a good idea to write them on the same side right that ways what we can do is we can think which method to adopt or what we can also do is from the first equation we can find what y is and then substitute the value of y in the second and find the answer so that's alternate way of doing it, right? But what we will prefer here is to write it in x. So let's simplify this equation. So that means x plus y equals to 2x minus 4 will translate 2x on the left side and see what happens. So it becomes x plus y minus 2x equals to minus 4. Now, this can be written as minus x plus y equals to minus 4, correct? So, now you can see we have two equations. One which says x minus 3y equals to minus 20. Second one is minus x plus y equals to minus 4. Now, in these two equations, you will notice that the coefficients of x are same. But there is a difference. One is minus, the other one is plus. So, if I add equation 1, that means if I add equation 1 and 2, what do I get? 
I can eliminate x, correct? Let me show you here separately. So what I'm trying to say here is that we have an equation which says x minus 3y equals to minus 20 and then we have this equation which is minus x plus y equals to minus 4. Now if I add them, that means, let's say these are my equations and I'm trying to add them. So if I add them, what do I get? x minus x is 0, right? So we eliminate x. This is the method of elimination. Here when we add y's, we get minus 2y. So we get minus 2y equals to adding these two quantities gives us minus 24. And from here, we can find what y is. So y is equals to minus 24 divided by minus 2, which is equals to 12. So we found one answer. So out of the two variables, we found what y is. Now to find what x is, we can use one of these equations, substitute the value of y as 12 and find x, right? For example, equation 2, we could always write this as, what is x equals to here? x is equal to, let's take x on the other side, so we are left with y plus 4, right? So from this equation, what x is? x is y plus 4. So we can substitute 12 for y and get the value of x. 12 plus 4 is 16, so that is one way of doing it, right? I'm just showing you a couple of ways to do it. Since I know there may be a method which is more suitable for you. So one method I've shown you which works and that is how you can do it, right? So the other way is use one of your equations which is given here and substitute 12 for y. So we will do that. So this is a simpler equation, right? Minus x plus y equals to minus 4. So in this equation, we will substitute y as 12. So what do we get? So we get minus x plus 12 equals to minus 4. Now we can find what x is, right? So, so you get minus x equals to minus 4 minus 12. That is minus 16. So this is minus x equals to. So what is x equals to? x is equals to plus 16, right? We'll divide by minus, we get plus 16. So we get the two numbers, which are 12 and 16. Do you see that? From here also, we get the same answer. So we can write down our answer. That is, x is 16, which is the larger number, and 12 is the smaller number, which is y for us, right? And so we can say that two numbers are 16 and 12. So these are the steps to follow and get the answer, right? And once you get your answer, you should substitute these values back into your equation to check if this answer is right or wrong. I hope you understand the method of solving and similar problems now can be solved by you. So let's recap. What did we do here? First step, read the problem carefully. Then define your variables with a let statement. Then write down your equations and simplify them. Right? For example, I wrote this equation. It was a good idea to simplify it there and then. Then I could have got this statement right here. Once you simplify your statement, after that, you work with those statements. So you have two equations to solve two variables. Remember, if there are two unknown variables, then you need two equations. Then you adopt the method of substitution or elimination to get the result. Finally, when you get the answer, don't forget to find both variables x and y and then check your answer. So these are the steps involved and write your answer very clearly, full and final. So I hope you understand all the steps and let's go ahead with similar examples. Thank you.